stuffed. I totally panicked when I saw the closed for cleaning sign at the bathrooms. You were talking big about eating until you puked, but you really did puke. Are you some kind of moron? Stop! Lay off of him, Morgana, for real, man. Hey, same goes for you. What floor was that restaurant on? We came up to get here, so it has to be on a lower floor, right? What the? There's still no update on the case. Not yet. Oh, shoot! Excuse me, but why are you so involved? It's not something you should be concerned with. I don't care about your opinion, you incompetent buffoon. When I say pick up the pace, you do it. Distinguished man. He got it. He's got a. Uh, he's got a little avatar right there, so you know he's important. Hey, you're cutting in line. What do you want? We want to get on the bottom floor, you jerk. We were here first. We're in a hurry. You could at least apologize. Says, excuse me. We need this. You didn't even say oh, that. I'm sorry. So you can butt in front of other people if you're in a hurry? It seems the customer base has changed since I was here last. Have they started a daycare? I uh, don't know, man. I feel like this place has always had a low bar standard. A walking pile of crap like you just comes into the place like you own it? They must have had they must have not been very established beforehand. What? Sir, we don't have time for this. Yeah, you say that. No. Oh, we gonna fight after that, bro. Nah, nah, you push me like that, we put, we throwing hands. You threw the first hand, I throw the rest. That's how it goes. What the hell was with that bossy guy? Shouldn't we head back down? Yeah, but... Come on, bro. Dick really pissed me off. He wasn't even hiding the fact that he looks down on everyone. Don't lose your temper over this. And you gotta hold it, Ben. I just can't forgive shitty adults like that. Oh. What's wrong? I'm just a little, don't worry about it, bro. I'll tell you later. Make me worry more, you know. I bet it's because he rarely eats well. I'm always stuffed with canned cat food, too. Yeah, that sir bullshit makes me sick. Damn it. What took you so long? Why are you are barking you at us? Sorry. I had a run-in with some woman a second ago. She bumped into me, but then said it was all my fault when she dropped her plate. <sighs> Sounds like a real bitch. Wow. Yeah. Thanks, though. But the restaurant workers all looked at me with this disapproving expression. I wonder if we're out of place here. I mean, we are the only ones under 18 in this place. So, yeah. Ryuji's got on a bright blue jacket. You got a bright red. I'm the only one who's got like a business, uh, like a little suit going on here. So, yeah, we kind of are out of place. Mm, it always feels like this. I should have said maybe. Hey, Morgana. What is it? Anyone could have a palace, yeah? Anyone with a strong, distorted desire. Same for them having a change of heart if their treasure gets stolen. That would be the case. Why are you bringing this up all of a sudden? We had trouble earlier too. These selfish shitheads who just look down on everyone else. I was just wondering if we'd be able to change those kinds of people too. You mean, you want to continue as the Phantom Thieves? I've been thinking. We put a lot of work into changing Kamoshida's heart, 
But nobody believes in the Phantom Thieves. Isn't that for the better? Like, why force people to believe that kind of thing? Let's just lay low and have them believe it's just work of a myth. No one will even bother to look at us. Plus, those guys who had no other choice but to just deal with it are thanking us. Us, of all people. It's nice to feel appreciated, but still. There are lots of victims, though. I... I agree. If we ignore people who are in trouble, I'd go back to being the same as I was before. Yep. Well, um, that's true. So we continue tutelage. There's nothing we can't accomplish as Phantom Thieves. So we're con still we're continuing the Phantom Thieves work then, huh? Shouldn't we be able to help him out? I didn't even think of such a possibility. But it's true that with this power we may be able to help people. Well, yeah, we, I mean, we're going to have to put in more gameplay hours. We couldn't the game just couldn't end here. But that means we'll have to fight shadows again. Doesn't it? Hey, I want to I want to get some more shadows. Indeed. That can't be avoided. Eh. I'm sure we'll manage. Yeah, under me, we'll be able to do great. You got the greatest player on your controlling you guys, so there's no way we can't handle it. <laughs> right. Oh yeah. If you're up for it, let's do it. Even if you guys are still just fledglings, this means we're an actual organization now. Fledglings. <laughs> That's actually pretty fitting for us. All right, it's settled. Let's do this. We're going to catch all these shitty adults by surprise and make ourselves known to the world. Now, why only adults? There might be some kids out there. I don't know. Are you okay being our leader? Well, I thought, I, uh, of course, like, is there really an option? No objections here? I can't handle all that responsibility stuff. Yeah, no doubt, Ryuji. You really ain't fit for that. What's my say in this? But Lady Ahn made the recommendation, so I'll allow it. Simp for life. This dude, Lady Ahn, could do no wrong and do all right. She, could, she only does right in his eyes. Well, should we decide on a name for our group? I just went with Phantom Thieves of Hearts last time, but don't you think a real name would be cooler? Ooh, I got it. I want it to be something both cute and luxurious sounding. Okay. Let me see. Uh, how about the diamonds? <laughs> no. I'm getting the real Little League Baseball feel from it. Well then, here. How about Tilefish Poilet? What? Tile, uh, what? 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 What made you think that was even an I? No, nah, hold on. Let me, let me hear that. Let me hear that. How about Tilefish Poilet? That is the dumbest name of all time. That's even worse. How about the diamonds? <laughs> than that. That's even worse than that. Nah, bro. Morgana, you shut up for the rest of the day. You don't talk. No? That's even worse. You picked it up of a food dish? No. Absolutely not. You shut up for the rest of the day. Oh no, you idiot. Thank you, Ryuji again. My guy is just speaking my language. The guy is just pronunciation what I am feeling. I love Ryuji, bro. This man is just all about what I feel. Uh, you decide for us. Sure, why not? Y'all names are crap anyway. Please do not enter a name that could be considered offensive. Yeah, that's what we'll go with. <laughs> Better. 
Yeah, that's who we we'll go with. That's the name. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're, I'm playing. I'm playing. No, I'm playing. <laughs> we'll take this seriously. There we go. We'll stick with this. The Phantoms. Let's go with this name. Yep, we'll go with that. Huh. That's not bad at all. Yep. A good name for a rookie. Better than Tilefish Poilet. Didn't I tell you to shut up earlier? We going with that? Yep, the Phantoms. Is that's okay? Well, now that the name's set. Who's our next target? There are tons of rotten adults and all. Why not just stick to targeting big names? Like a celebrity or a CEO? Yeah, something along those lines. If we go after some big wig, it's gotta get on the news, right? I understand that, Ryuji, but laying low and doing small work is just as good. Don't you think more people would believe in us if we did that? That's not a bad idea. For you, Ryuji. True. If we become better known, we might be able to give courage to a lot more people. I didn't think of that. But the chances are, we'll get caught if we go after bigger names. Because they'll put higher, more, they'll put better professionals who are smarter and have more training than we could have. And they could probably catch us doing something. We'll slip up eventually. Smaller targets means that there's less likely to be uh, investigation and lookers on our parts. People won't look our way, but the bigger we go, the bigger names we go after, the harder it will be for us to stay low. But we do it if we do go after big targets and take them out. People might get encouraged about this and help and try to fight for their own belief as well. I don't really like the idea of just picking someone out of the blue, though. Let's narrow it down to someone we can all agree on then. Hmm. So we need a big wig we decide on unanimously. I like that unanimous decision part. It's like we're making some kind of pact. Hmm, a secret organization. Now then, this is the official formation of the Phantom Thieves organization. Oh no! Our time for the buffet ran out. Are you mean to tell me she still wanted to eat? I guess we'll just have to talk more tomorrow. Ooh. Another world in which people's distorted cognitions take shape? Stealing treasure to change hearts? And on top of that, a talking cat told you all this. It's all true. Honestly speaking, that all sounds absurd. It's hard to believe that this is even worth listening to. Still, it can't be considered nonsense when parts of it align with Kamoshida's confession. The same goes for the testimonies of the officers who arrested you. But so be it. At any rate, you mentioned something more important. These two other accomplices, besides this talking cat thing that appeared in your story. From what you've been telling me, they're students at the same school, aren't they? Perhaps. Perhaps? Don't take me for a fool. Don't think I'm just going to willingly sell my, my crewmates out like that. Very well. I'll leave it at that. Let's continue on. The questioning's not over anyway. If you are making this up, the cracks in your story will prove it. And it's true. The next to receive a calling card was this individual. A master of Japanese arts. Ichiryusai Madarame. It's even more incomprehensible than Kamoshida as to why this man was targeted. Where did you come to know him? And how did you learn of his crimes when you weren't a victim of them? 
Start by telling me what you all schemed. The sum of the story up to this point has been updated. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, we spent all our money on the buffet, but we officially established the Phantom Thieves, so it was totally worth it. Right, 8,000 per person. A fan of thieves, huh? I'm liking the sound of that. I hope we can totally help people. I'm curious about the fan of the Fishiana website too. I wonder who made it. No clue. More importantly, you see the survey on there? I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah, there is this approval rating thing, but it was only like 6%. That's better than I was expecting. I guess it's not so bad if you put it that way. But don't you just want to get it higher than that? I bet it'll go up a tons if we take keep taking on big targets. It's pretty damn exciting if you try to think about it like that. You know, you're actually right. Well then, let's keep working hard from this point on. The D's didn't have been a lot can access. Oh, really? At the Thieves' Den, you'll be able to do various activities such as view art, listen to music, or play card games. You can unlock more with story progression, so stop by now and then. That is nice to see here. Oh yeah, let me send the celebrity pic I, I took for today. Celebrating the foundation of the Phantom Thieves and celebrating us crashing the classy buffet. Hey, that's something new in the game. Okay, taking a picture of this myself. That is nice to see. And look at me, my dude drinking LeBlanc coffee. Just to show how sophisticated we are for being kids. Lady on, eating nothing but giant cake portions. And Ryuji, my man, just got that po just got the pose ready and all that. You can call it cool with all the celebrating at any time now. I mean, you can cool with all the celebrating anytime now. Wait, you took that while I was eating? Why didn't you tell me? Uh, I did. You just never stopped eating. Anyway, this is our start as the Phantom Thieves. We're gonna take the world by storm. All the shitty adults in the world better watch out for us. I gotta get some nutrients for this thing. Thieves Den updated. You know what? On second thought, we're going to go to the Thieves Den later. Don't want to do it right now. All right, we're going to do some studying, and after we get done with that, we're going to call it a night. I'm going to do the studying off screen. Anyway, uh, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Let me know in the comments what you liked about this video, what you didn't like about this video. Help get the channel rolling. Help get the channel moving. And until then, this is KJ signing out. I should write something.